but this guy is basically a writer, like Stephen King, but he, um, the stuff he's been writing about is coming to life. And the main villain is basically darkness. Like, it, light hurts it. So, like, if there's a person covered in darkness, I have to hit him with a flashlight, then I can hurt them, stuff like that. Do I have a pistol? Yeah, I do have a pistol right now. I'm working on it, Barry. Calm down. What build is he running? Flashlight, Soul Beast? Yes, I merged with the flashlight. Oop, batteries. 21 bullets remaining. Alright, standard rule for hedge mazes or any maze is always take left turns. And as long as the exit isn't in the middle of the maze or something, you will eventually get out of it. Manuscript page. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system. Muck, have you ever considered becoming a full-time streamer? I have been one since May of 2020. It's a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. I, uh, I actually, I stream every single night for five hours, Tuesday mornings for three hours, so I do eight streams a week. I have not missed a single day in 1,191 days, over three years, and I also put out at least three YouTube videos per week. Oh my god, are the freaking... You punks. years without missing a... Alright, I'm turning redeems off. Oh my god. Someday he's gonna get a website too. Aggio, you try to bait me into doing the trailer again. Alright, there's not gonna be any more sounds after that. Of daily streams without missing a single day. I gotta say, this is a lot less scary without in the background. Accept commission via Patreon? Yeah, you can go to give to my Patreon. Exclamation Patreon. Freaking weirdo. Ah. He hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Does he not have melee? No. Not that I know of. Therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. Oh. So this is what just happened a little while ago, but we don't know what Hartman's double-checking right now. You shot him with the flashlight? No, I've got the uh, gun in my right hand, flashlight in my left. Revolver ammo, just sitting on a bench. Nice. You get two barrels in the morning, and then you'll be nice and calm all day long. You get three barrels in the morning. Oh, this was the, the muscle guy. This was the, the muscle for the... Oh, shoot. There's... We've got birds here, too. Oh 
my gosh. Okay, that was rough just because of both of them at the same time. Ah, <sighs> coffee. <laughs> ah, yes, wash down the enemy. Coffee. 30 bullets. Oh my. Why, why is he mad at that statue? Two bullets. There's a lot more birds up there. I'm nervous about them now. Shotgun. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Let's see, we got six shells for the shotgun. They jumped me from the sides. I almost died there. All this is happening a single night? No, there was one point... Well, first of all, there was a time skip of a week. Then there was one point where we waited all day at the factory and the guy never showed up. So then it was a, the following night. So it's been at least a week and a day in total. Oh god. Oh no 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 no. Kill the wheelbarrow! That almost killed me. Darkness doors. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay. Okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Oh god, is Barry dead? Or has he been disarmed? Emil made Tom do it. Okay. The doors have spectral agony from Kill Doors 2. Yellow arrow. I tried to shoot him before he did that, but I wasn't able to do so. Okay. This looks like it's telling me there's a treasure over here. Yep. 
There we go. Forgot I had flare gun. I might have used that a couple fights back, but uh did not remember that I had it. This game is like a weird mixture of like clunky movement, but total freedom to like move around as you wish. Like, you know, try to jump on things, get over things, find secret areas, stuff like that. It's an odd mix. Another manuscript page. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. So we punched him and broke his nose a second time while he was trying to capture us? <laughs> oh, is that Barry? Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Whoa. Okay. Dude, shoot the... I'm very upset. I was clicking furiously. What? No, don't do it now. What? So after the movie, it did the flare. Dude, how do they keep spawning behind me when I've got my back to a wall? Oh my gosh. They're, they got freaking shadow step. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. I do not like this event. Wow, axe to the side of the head. If I could round him up and just get them all with one flare.
Dude, what? What is taking so long? Fire the... Oh my god. That was probably overkill for that, but... Oh, I thought that was Barry. Haha, <laughs> that is not Barry. Oh my gosh. That is, I think, the most deaths that I've died on a single, like, encounter. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, He, he brought the we'll cardboard guy. Anderson Farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. <laughs> I'm gonna live in a tanning bed. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Barry. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest- But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry, I can- Al, I- No, listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. Draw an angel. There's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! This is pretty well animated for its date. God damn it, I'll talk to me. So he got thrown from the car. Should have buckled up, Al. I had lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! I got no equipment. Oh, I just tried to man, cycle through everything. Okay. Jeez, it's good to hear your voice. I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop. Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, Al, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. Oh, yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al! I'll be waiting! Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. <laughs> this would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Now he's Rambo. Oh god, I don't have a flashlight. Am I gonna find a very oh? Am I gonna find a, a very convenient flashlight up here? Is this it? Is this all that's down here? Oh my god. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Walter? Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. 
But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. I was hoping there would be supplies in here. My stamina is non-existent. Eh, eh, eh. Oh lord! Now you know how the hiss feels. crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. What? Go. Why'd you stop? Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hands shook and his throat felt tight and dry. I don't think this has happened yet. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Oh my god. I still don't know why Nightingale hates me so much. Can I get that little lamp? I guess not. A new arrival. Welcome, new arrival. Hello. Can I turn? Ah, yep. I was just thinking, can I just move this light? Have some lamp. Some, that's some really intense lamping. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Trust no one in the dark. Omega-3 fatty asses are good for your heart, he said. Oh no. I I don't know what that does, but I don't know how I'm supposed to do it right now. Tried to dodge that. Apparently I was out of stamina, not that I ever know. I really, really, really wish this game showed you when you were out of stamina. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. All right, maybe I have to like occasionally spin and try to stun them with the uh, the light. Does. We're just going to keep going. Shortcut, please. Lamp. Ah. driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking.
Heavy duty flashlight. Okay. Batteries. Is that it? Okay. Thank you, strange campers that I'll never meet. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Spooky gate? Ah, uh, yep. I was like, is this going to be a spooky gate we kill with the light? Let me just press the power up button on my flashlight here. trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. What? I what? I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. There's actually a lore reason for the pages being there and not just some achievement? The Dark Presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Okay, I got a few flares. Bear traps. on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients until all oh, the crazies got this out time they wouldn't return the darkness around them seethed with horrors but Tor and Odin were unafraid their eyes glinted with guile they knew every secret path and there was blood on their hands they had fought these shades before <laughs> Shotgun. Man! Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. He's actually going to comment on finding a gun out in the wild for once. No other time has he been like, oh hey, somebody left a gun. So this game has Thor and Odin, and the other game has that, that Finnish god. This guy is carrying a lot of axes, Jeff. A startling amount. Oh no! Oh my gosh! I was at like one hit point, and then it's like checkpoint reached. You're fine. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. <sighs> Anybody here? Ah! Barry. Ah, ah! No, Danny, you're not. Ah! Please. Ah! What are you? What are you? Ah! No, don't. I'm done. 